All right, this is gonna be a brand new segment. This is gonna be called Pimp My Life. I got hit up about doing a thousand horsepower Pantera. I've never even seen one. And now I'm seeing one that's like super, super modified. So let's go check it out. We're gonna look at the lights. We're gonna talk about what we're gonna do to them as the episode number one for Pimp My Lights. Okay, so we drove out here to Anaheim, California, and I saw this crazy beast. Let's check this thing out. Ooh, let's use the gimbal and get some fancy B-roll. Project number one is gonna be the taillights. These are actually the taillights off of a Lexus RC350, and I need to cut them open and make them fully sequential to go on this custom bumper on this Pantera. I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna do that. We're gonna document it. We're gonna stick it in the sequential school online course as well. But for now, all you need to know is these things are gonna look pretty sick coming up. This is a completely different look than when I originally saw the, the pictures of the car from how it used to be. It used to be black. We'll put some, I'll show you the picture right now. And it just had the regular Pantera taillights. This is like, everything is 100% changed on a vehicle like this. I've worked on a lot of cars that everything's changed on before, and this is no exception. Now this is a work of art. I know very, very little about this. Besides, it has a lot of really, really fancy acrylic on there. The craftsmanship is over the top ridiculous attention to detail, like bar none. Every little tiny thing to accommodate the new digital gauges, Dakota Digital, all these little push buttons. A lot of these panels, since they are held on by magnets and it's like completely custom to be able to go together like individual components, that can actually be changed and reconfigured if there were some design change that wanted to be made later. So again, this is next level stuff. I'm working to try to figure out where we can animate some of that and make it look cool. But I know the mastermind behind this project, he's gonna be using some addressable LEDs that take care of most of that with just a power ground and data wire, because that's just so much smarter than having 8 million cables running through here. To be determined project on how involved I will be or not be, the headlights and taillights you know, that's what I do. These have a pretty cool, I guess like, it's people are used to seeing the LEDs on the bottom of headlights because these jewel eye projectors and that little LED strip underneath are becoming more and more common on a lot of cars, not just Acura or Honda, but across the board, everybody's using really cool looking DRLs, but those individual LED headlights. And this is one of the main things people always want to retrofit. They always want that jewel eye. This guy didn't even retrofit the jewel eye projectors, he just did the whole headlights. So this Pantera now has a look like no other Pantera on the planet, I'm sure. And if you're curious about how the heck I'm gonna get these things out, I am not. But the geniuses that are working on this car are going to remove them straight out the back through the fender well. Now wiring wise, everything is totally new and custom. Everything has been literally just built up from the gauges to the wires front to back. I mean, this is a massive, massive project. So hats off to the guys working on this thing. I just have to do my typical thing and build some custom lights in the workshop and make sure that when they come back here, they just plug in with one little easy connector and my job is done. Okay, so this is the end of this first episode about the Pantera. We're gonna continue on, keep telling the story about it, and we are gonna continue the series of Pimp My Lights with different cars, just not more Panteras. I think this is enough for me for sure.